The first thought you had when clicking on this video was probably something like, what? No. That's just not true. Why would Michael be El Rubio, aka Juan Strickler? And I will explain it to you. It is really obvious when you think about it. GTA 5 has been out for around 7 years, so I won't go into that much detail about Michael. For context, the most important parts about him are that as a retired bank robber, he really missed the life. He wasn't happy in his peaceful mansion. That's where the story's events take place. In which Michael finally feels happy, free and complete. But only until the end of the game. So my perfectly flawless theory is that after everything, Michael bought the Keo Perico Island with the money he earned from the final heist, then started his drug empire there. To his family, he only told that he goes on business trips. Alright, alright, now we have the motive. But they still look polar opposites. Oh boy, if you wanted a life like this, you would go to an extra mile just to remain undercover, right? The hair and the face, just a professional mask, voice, pfft, I won't even answer that easy question. And they are the same height, no need to check. So we have the motive and the appearance. Seems pretty much set, isn't it? Alright, I have one more ace up my sleeve. The biggest reason. Just look at this untouchable video evidence. Davy! Davy! <laughs> now side by side. Davy! Slow down. Davey. Slow down even more. Thank you for watching. I'm done.